Hello, my name is Andas Sinisalo. I'm a digital marketing researcher, consultant and publisher. And I've been in the publishing industry for over 20 years. I do remember the times when internet came and publishers faced a real big crisis. At the moment, the publishing industry is facing the crisis about the same magnitude. And the problem is that nobody clicks on the banner ads yet. The CTR is down to close to zero. And publishers are desperate to find a new solution, how to replace the revenue they have lost from losing the ads on banners. And according to the Business Insider, uh, over 80% of the revenue in 2020 will come from native advertising. Native advertising is the fastest growing area. And unfortunately, many publishers, many salespeople in publishing companies and the clients do not understand native advertising. They got it wrong. I'm going to tell you in about a few minutes, few tips, very practical suggestions, how to improve your native advertising. And sure, you can win new clients, you can improve your native advertising after watching this. In order to create a successful piece of native advertising, one has to consider news values. The same values that apply to the editorial content. That's the point of native advertising. The five news values are the following. Number one is timing. You know the expression breaking news, something that is happening right now. The same principle applies to native advertising. Principle number two is significance. How your story affects the audience. Is it important to them? Try to think of that. The criteria number three is proximity. People are interested in stories that happen nearby, somewhere near to their homes. And even if the story happens somewhere far away, try to find an angle what makes it closer to people's minds. The news value number four is prominence. Famous people sell the stories. And if there is some way to make a connection between your brand and somebody famous, try that method. And news value number five is human interest, emotions. Something that makes your story interesting, amusing, compelling, that really works well. After considering the news values, it's important to think of the models, how to tell your story. And here the fairy tale model comes to your help. There are five ways to tell your stories based on fairy tales. One, David and Goliath. It's about a small underdog winning the mighty giant. Two, hare and the torches. It's about slow and steady winning the race using cheating methods, maybe. Number three, Richard Branson. It's about bad boy rising to a top using very untraditional and innovative methods. Four, Robin Hood. It's about justice. It's about robbing the rich and giving it to the poor ones. And five, Ugly Duckling. It's about somebody who's unpromising in the beginning and turns out to be a beauty, a winner in the end. And then finally, you need to think of the formats, how to tell your story in the best way. The easiest one is probably the text, just a written article. Then the video is very fastly growing. And there are many ways of video, starting from unboxing videos to testimonials to product demonstrations. Then infographics. If you have a lot of data, it's the best to explain your product or service using infographics. Gamification. Maybe you can create an interesting game about your product or service. And then also different ways of pictures, GIFs and other moving formats. And then finally podcast. Radio is actually a very promising format and increasing number of people prefer listening to watching a video. This was native advertising in a nutshell in a few minutes. I do have a full day workshop where I go into more detail using a lot of case studies and examples and also practical exercises. So if you're interested in improving native advertising or if you're interested in training your clients about native advertising, please leave us your email or phone number and we can discuss how this can be done. And finally, I'll show you one case study from Germany that is a perfect example of content marketing and native advertising. It's about Advocard, an insurance company that has relatively boring product. And what they did was that they used all the data they had to create something interesting and something that also helped their salespeople to break ice and sell more products. Take a look at this film. We Germans. No other country loves insurance as much as we do. We insure our health our homes, 
Our cars, even our mobile phones. We insure almost everything. But there's a big problem for Advocard, one of Germany's leading providers of legal cost insurance. Fewer and fewer people are taking out this type of insurance. How can we persuade Germany of the necessity of legal costs insurance? The idea to show our nation's litigation culture in the form of a big litigation atlas. For the first time in history, over one million litigation cases were analyzed and mapped on a digital atlas. A unique demonstration that doesn't just show how and where litigation takes place in our country, but above all visualizes the necessity of legal costs insurance. For instance, Berlin was revealed to be the litigation capital, and men were revealed to be the most litigious. The litigation atlas quickly attracted a lot of media attention and became a topic of discussion for the whole nation. The result is impressive. 3.1 billion online visits. 110 million generated contacts. Justice ministries, universities and the German Institute for Economic Research requested the data behind the litigation atlas. The atlas didn't just inspire a debate within society, but also established itself as a powerful sales tool for marketing advocate. Within a remarkably short period of time, the litigation atlas became the most successful PR promotion in Advocard's company history.